You know, when I was like a teenager, very early teenager, when I was in middle school and high school, one of my favorite things to do was to watch G4 TV. Now, for those of you who don't know what G4 is, or rather, <laughs> what G4 used to be, uh, it was basically like a video game and tech channel. Uh, you know, it, it would do video game reviews, talk about technology. Uh, when Half-Life 2 came out, you know, they would talk about how the technology for that game was so, you know, advanced and impressive. And it's a very old uh, TV channel. I mean, for God's sakes, right there, it should tell you how old it is. I mean, how many people realistically watch TV anymore? So when I heard G4 TV was going to be coming back to the internet at the very least in terms of, you know, like a, a YouTube channel where they would bring back things like X-Play, uh, maybe even Attack of the Show to an extent, although I didn't really like Attack of the Show that much. That's when I really started to, like, stop watching G4. But anyways, it was still, you know, a decent program, you know. Even if I didn't like Attack of the Show, the hosts weren't that annoying. I... I found the show to be pretty obnoxious, but again, it wasn't intolerably bad. Well, recently, one of the people now associated or working with G4 TV decided to go on a little rant. I'm not going to play the whole thing because most of it's pretty redundant, you know. Uh, I'm going to play a little clip here and then we'll talk about it. This is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. So as you can see, this woman, if you even want to call her that, because I don't really like people who have tattoos on their neck and nose rings and all that. But again, you know, this woman went on a tirade talking about basically, you know, unless you're a big titted bimbo that people don't want to listen to you when it comes to things like G4 TV or, or things like that. And uh, welcome to the real world here, sweetheart. Uh, that's kind of how things work. Um, you know, an ugly woman versus a woman who's considered the 10. We both know who's going to get more views, more popularity, more wealth at the end of the day, okay? That's just how our fucked up human nature works. I don't personally agree with it because I'm not a 10 out of 10 guy myself. But guess what? If Arnold Schwarzenegger or, or somebody who looks like him back in the 1980s becomes a host of some show, I don't fucking lose sleep over it and I don't go on a tirade because guess what? He just genetically, or maybe he worked for it, is just a better person in terms of his looks. And that's fine. Shit happens, man. When life rolls the dice, sometimes you get a perfect 20, sometimes you get snake eyes. That's just how the world works. You know, a little tip here, sweetheart, okay? If you want people to treat you better, maybe lose the nose ring, lose the horrible attitude, grow your hair out a little bit, and don't put fucking tattoos on your neck. More people might be willing to take you a little more seriously then, because what you're acting like right now is a spoiled little teenager brat. Because that's what you sound like, sweetheart, okay? Again, I'm not going to show the rest of the clip here. You can go watch it yourself. It's not very hard to find. But basically, she's trying to claim that, you know, gamers are sexist, that the industry is sexist, and that you have to be, you know, the, the old... If you ever watched the old G4 TV, you know, they used to have a lot of very sexualized women on it. Uh, Olivia Munn, I think, was the original name of, uh, like, a host of, I think it was Attack of the Show, or maybe it was Cheat. I don't remember exactly. But yeah, pretty much all the women they had working for them were hot. And guess what? Why? Let me, let me ask you a serious question here, okay? Why are we allowed to have hot men be a part of movies, music, whatever? You know what I'm saying? And that's perfectly okay. Nobody says anything, nobody has a problem with it, but the moment we have a sexy woman talking about video games, or if we go to E3, there's a woman in a, in a crop top or whatever you want to call it, in a very you know short mini skirt, trying to advertise uh, Gears of War 25, or whatever. Why is that suddenly a problem? This is such an old and useless argument, and I am so sick and tired of hearing this, because clearly this woman is realistically probably just really jealous that... People don't find her attractive because her ugly looks, because she made herself look this way. Be realistic about it. Okay, she forced herself to get that tattoo. She put that nose ring in, and she cut her hair to look like that. I'm telling you, sweetheart, that's not attractive. 
I'm sorry. Maybe some people out there find her attractive, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that she's unattractive in general because of her looks, but her attitude and the way she fucks up her body by putting a fucking neck tattoo on there and the stupid-ass nose ring, I'm sorry. That's just not an attractive look. You look like a teenager, basically. You, you look like the kind of look a rebellious teenager would look. You don't look like a dignified woman. You look like a girl. And I'm sorry, most people are not attracted to girls. They're attracted to women, okay? Women who actually take care of their bodies. At least I know I am. I mean, again, I don't, I don't you know, go out of my way to pick the sexiest woman alive to watch on something like Twitch or, or whatever. But if, if a woman, let me tell you something here, sweetheart, okay? You don't, it's not even really about your looks. It's about your attitude, realistically, okay? Your attitude is, well, because the, first of all, why are you reading the chat? She brought up that the chat is saying that because she's not a, a, a sexy, you know, looking like the older host from before, that she shouldn't be working in the industry. Why are you reading the chat? That's your problem. The, who the fuck realistically reads the chat when you're working for a company of that size? Do you think Joe Rogan, whatever him or Jamie, it's probably Jamie or somebody else, uploads a clip to the GRE, whatever clips channel or whatever they do it on nowadays since he went with Spotify. Do you think he's out there reading all the comments saying, oh man, look at Joe's face, he's getting old or whatever stupid ass comments people put on YouTube comments. Do you, do you think he's sitting there all day reading that? Or if he's going, or if he's live on the show, do you think he reads the chat at all? If, if he has any? Even if he did, even if he did have a chat. Like, okay, because maybe he doesn't, maybe he does, or I don't know. Point being is, do you think he'd be spending his entire time reading the chat? Or do you think maybe he'd be focusing on what the, the fucking uh, news story of the day is, or, or whatever topic he wants to put on there? See, that's your problem, sweetheart. You're too busy reading the chat. You're too busy feeding the trolls when you should just be doing your fucking job. If you did your job the same way that Adam Sussler and a lot of other people from back in the day did their job on G4 TV, you would see the kind of success and love that they got. The reason that I remember G4 TV back in the day so well is because X-Play, uh, Cheat, even Attack of the Show, like I said, I didn't really like it that much. But those people were passionate about what they talked about. Or at the very least, even if they didn't like video games and they were only there because they're filling the sexy woman quota, at least they acted like they enjoyed it. Okay? That's your problem. It's your fucking attitude, sweetheart. This is why people treat you this way. And this is why, especially after this video, people will continue to treat you this way. Because you're acting like a spoiled little brat who didn't get their way. You know, you, you want to be... As loved as his original. If you want to be loved like them, go back and rewatch old episodes of Attack of the Show, X Play, Cheat, whatever, and look at the way that they talk to their audience and look at the way that you talk to your audience. There is a gigantic difference. And that is why people want the older, sexy women, because those women actually didn't talk down to their audience. They made their audience feel like, hey, I, I, she actually appreciates me. Whenever they would get comments, they'd be like, oh, wow, these people love me because I actually treat my audience like people. I don't treat them like they're all sexist pigs. Wow, who would have fucking thought that? Anyways, though, guys, this is my rant. Fuck you, G4. Okay, seriously, fuck you. How dare you bring in hosts that treat your uh, us like this? Fuck you, okay? Anyways, that's my rant. I'm getting the fuck out of here. The rest of y'all, have a nice day.